Hi, I'm Randall from Walker Technical Company. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Walker Console Controller, specifically the System Administrator account. There are three built-in accounts, Guest, Player, and System Administrator. We're going to use the System Administrator right now. After entering your PIN code, it takes you to the System menu. The System menu has System Options, Manage Users, Adjust Display, Set Clock, and Set Date. Let's go to System Options. The first one that you see there is No User Accounts. If your church only has one organist, or if you want the simplicity of turning on the organ and having it automatically log in to the guest account, this would be your option. If you want the flexibility of having multiple accounts, leave that disabled. This organ has multiple accounts. When you turn the organ on, the list of names can be either sorted by date, which would sort them in the date that they were created, sorted by name, alphabetically, or by use, meaning whoever last used the organ would be at the top of the list, whoever used it last would be at the bottom of the list. When you're all finished, hit cancel. The second item down in the list is manage users. Let's go there. The first item in the user menu is add user. Let's do that. We're going to add Ann. She's a nice lady, a great organist. So let's add her. Once we get her name entered, we can set her PIN code and any number of her options. There's a separate video on user options. You can take a look at that to explain all the different options you have of setting up a user. Once you've set all of your options, just hit cancel and get out of there, and the user has been created. The next item down is remove user. Uh, there's a list of all the users here, Anne, Jim, Nancy, Randall. Since we just created Anne and she actually doesn't play here, let's remove her. So you just hit select. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to remove Anne? And we are. So we say yes. Then the next thing down is user settings. In user settings, we can see how many available users there are. In this particular case, there are 13 more users that could be added to this organ. Free memory levels. In this case, there are 30 more free memory levels. And we can see how many memory levels each user is using. If we scroll all the way down, we can get down to my account, Randall. I'm going to go there. And again, it takes you to Randall's settings, and we can adjust my pin code and how many levels I have. Let's adjust that down to 10 levels and from 15. So I just dial the knob down and uh, hit cancel. And now it says Randall memory levels 10. We're all finished there, so let's hit cancel. The next thing down is rename a user. Perhaps your organist has left or they just want their name on the screen to be changed. You can change it right there and it won't affect anything, their 2D, the crescendo, or any of their memory levels. If you back out of that, we can get back to the system menu and get to be able to adjust the display. Here you can set the brightness or the contrast to suit your particular console's installation. The next item down is to set the clock or set the date. There's a separate video on how to do that, so take a look at that one for that information. That's basically everything in the system menu. And once you're finished, you can just hit cancel or turn the organ off and everything's saved. That's about it. Thanks for watching.